Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Q card. Describe a piece of art you like. You should say what the piece of art is. Where did you see it? Describe the piece of art. Why do you like it so much? As it is said by the famous artist Leonardo da Vinci that art is never finished, only abandoned. I would like to talk about the most amazing art, which is the Mona Lisa. It is a naturalistic and representational style of painting. The art implies that landscape paintings, as well as photographic, abstract, narrative, symbolic, emotional, or artivism styles, are all viable options. My family and I were on a trip to Paris, which is where we saw the famous Mona Lisa painting. My brother is in this profession as well, which helps me to take a good look at this form of art. The Mona Lisa resembles Renaissance images of the Virgin Mary, who was a feminine ideal. The woman's upright, folded arms in a posetto armchair show her guarded posture. Her eyes are fixed on the spectator. The lack of outline makes the woman appear unusually alive. It also has soft mixing giving an unclear mood, particularly in the mouth and eye corners. The artist was successful in capturing the ideal facial expression. As a painter myself, I know the work one has to put in every piece to make the painting flawless. It is admirable that the artist was able to make such a stunning painting, which also serves as a source of motivation. It is a magnificent painting and anyone interested in art ought to give it their full attention. If one were to examine the specifics that it possesses, they might very simply fill the pages of a book with their findings. Follow-up questions. What kinds of traditional handicrafts are there in your country? Answer. In my country, the Zardosi artwork from the villages of Rajasthan is very famous. The sari's intricate work on the minute details is of very high quality. This work is also recognized in foreign lands. Should children learn more about art? Answer. Art is a creative way to enhance the working of a young mind. If children get intrigued with art, then they are likely to develop skills such as brainstorming, teamwork, and many others. In the later stage of their life, they might as well develop a career out of the art. Why do some people think it is difficult to understand art? Answer. At times art is way beyond the understanding of people because it is extremely complex. A famous artist claims that even a small stroke on a canvas can tell a long story. It is very difficult for the mass in general to understand the depth and the meaning of art. Do you think art should be included in school curriculum? Why? Answer. There are myriad benefits of learning art. In addition to this viewpoint, I would like to add that the art in the school curriculums would help the students to explore more, this way they will understand the thing that is better for their own future. What kind of jobs require people to be creative? Answer: Jobs like graphic designer and fashion designer require creativity in them. Moreover, due to changes in dynamics even jobs like coding require creativity. The app or the website they build must be attractive to grab the attention of the customers. What kind of jobs are available for creative people? Answer. There are a plethora of jobs that a creative person can acquire. Starting from the music industry to resin art. 
there are ample opportunities available in the market. With the right skill set, the person will be able to grab anything they want. Thanks for watching.